I am in so much trouble, but I'm so happy. <laughs> Look, thank you for joining me so very, very much on my quick update about my complex fouls that I've always struggled with and probably will continue to struggle because there is no knowing what is going on with these guys once you get them home. You're pretty much living on a prayer and doing your best to get them through. I have lost so many of these in the last years, um, probably about as many as I have on the table, but this is about success. This is about spikes being cut, 13 in total, not from this lot, from all my fowls, including the minis, which I'll show at another time. In order to make them focus on vegetative growth, in order to get their structures to look and resemble what they were when they came from the shops. And at least one leaf is a success. As we are heading now into October, November, the cooler night temperatures will trigger their spiking. I don't think I'm going to get a second leaf the same size as the first leaf, but one leaf, we are in business and I am so happy for it. Because look here, this is Maximilian, his first leaf of the season. And look what went before. These were the ones before. And look at it now. This is what I'm talking about. This is what it came with. This is what I was looking for, structure-wise. Whether he can grow another leaf the same size, I do not know. It's already late in the season. And over here is a complex fowl that we call Bubba. Everything my daughter brings home has a connotation towards her. And this leaf here is the first one of the season, which pretty much, let me see, how can I show you? Oh, the difficulty, too much foliage. What am I going to do? <laughs> but okay, it's pretty much the same as the one before, which is this one, but it's a little bit more broader. All right, so happy with that. And the second leaf of the season is coming out super strong and pretty fast. So that's really good. I'm going to be letting some of these bloom this winter. And then here is Phalaenopsis no ID sweetheart a sort of a white one with a washed out tessellation in the colors. She brought this one home and look what she's done this year. Oh, look at this leaf. This is the leaf she came with in the back. There's nothing wrong with the leaf. That is just one leaf blocking the sun over the other. So that leaf is absolutely fine. And then I grew sorry little structures subsequently here. But we are back in business. Look at this, the size of it. Oh, hey, I had such difficulties cutting these spikes, I'm telling you. And now I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should do it one more year just to be sure. You never know. This is the one that's called Alexandra. My daughter bought this one as well. Very beautiful, beautiful spikes with massive flowers of ink mauve it's gorgeous and this is her leaf she was losing leaves early in the season i got a little bit panicked but her new leaf is back to what we like to see because my leaves were these guys in the back here that have no match to what she was before but this one here is actually coming back to size yes so happy and guess who is back here rocking the self-watering system here bubblicious look at her go look at this this leaf is actually going to match the leaf that it came with in the nursery i did a repot video that i feel like a beginner every time i repot these complex hybrids because i never know i'm going to lose them or not are they going to take or jump and she has taken, she has taken so well. She's got great roots growing in the back. Under the sphagnum moss, you can see there. They're all doing great root-wise. 
Some I have aerial and that's fine and some I'm trying to make sure to guide into the pot. And then here is one I didn't show last time. This is lemon sherbet. Um, I, to be honest, I just forgot I had her, which is terrible because my daughter bought her, brought her home. She knows I like lemony, you know, off lemon green blooms on my fowls. So I called this lemon meringue, not sherbet, lemon meringue because of the filling of a lemon meringue pie. And then the outer edges are sort of white. And look at that. A transition that went straight with no issues, no problems. The leaf is growing the same size as the previous leaf. No problems whatsoever with this one. And I've got a nice second leaf coming. And then back here is Walter. We saw Walter, I let Walter bloom this year. Look at this though. Walter was already though very well established. So that's why I let him bloom over the winter. But you see the previous structure was not the size of anything before. So I, I wanted to have a bigger leaf and we are in business. Look at this. And it's growing a second one now as well. And then here, the piece de resistance, at least for my collection. This is Harlequin. This thing, <laughs> this thing is just scary. It's plain scary. What on earth? I wanted structures as previously because these were the leaves that I grew before. This one, the sad, hang on a second, the sad one in the back there. And these are the leaves it came with. Look how big they are. So that's the size I was looking for. <laughs> Look what it's done. <laughs> Look at this. This is insanity. It's bigger than the one before. This is insanity. Harlequin, the white one with the polka dot speckles, maroon speckles. Look at this thing. I'm scared. <laughs> this is... Oh, I didn't let this one bloom either. Tried to spike and uh, I cut two off here, but we are in business. The roots are inside. So we'll see what happens with this leaf. But all in all, all in all, it's awesome to see big structures grow and under my care. It really, really is. And like I said, I don't know if a second leaf is gonna match the size that we have before, to be honest. I don't think so, but they can surprise me, who knows? And here's one other thing I observed. From all the ones that I thought were a little bit weak and not well established, and I cut the spikes to initiate faster, my more early growth in the season, that didn't happen. It had nothing to do with it. It didn't, it didn't actually trigger any growth sooner. They all, whether it was Walter or let's say Maximilian, they all started with their first leaves at the same time and Walter bloomed, Maximilian, I cut the spikes off. So what I assumed would be sooner vegetative growth by cutting off the spikes, that didn't work. Now we are at the beginning of October and the night temperatures are dropping. So it's not that warm, balmy night anymore. And that's why I'm saying, are they gonna spike are they going to stop growing their leaves? What are they going to do next? That should be interesting to observe. But for now, this has been a fun video to make. It is scary now to put them back because what if I break something, you know? I've just been tiptoeing around these guys all these months, left them inside. And now I have to um, not only find a place for all my collection that's outside, where am I going to accommodate this? What have I done? <laughs> oh, but it's so much fun. It is so much fun. Let me show you one more thing. Here's another one. This is a Phalaenopsis Ninja Yellow. Super special one, a unique one from the Orchid Room. So far, the leaf was very, very small that it came with, so that has continued to grow. She's doing really well, but we saw her in an update. Some roots may need some cleaning up eventually, which I will take care of. But look at her. Look at this. 
She's blooming at the end of summer. Like I said in that video, I think she's confused. She probably thinks she's still home with her awesome mom there in the UK. But she's blooming here. I hope this is not a stress spike. But I wanted to show her to you because she has the colors that I was just describing that I really like. The pale yellowy, greeny kind of colors. There's a good thing that I already have a lemon meringue and I'm so glad that this one isn't conflicting in the names, you know, we don't want that. But uh, Ninja Yellow looks a little bit whiter on camera than she actually is. Isn't that the cutest? I lost some buds because I've been moving her in and out. Well, one, one thing to film and one time to clean and then she dropped some buds. But all in all, here she is and I'm gonna let her bloom out on this bloom here and then I'm gonna cut the spike, enjoy it in a vase and uh, let her rest for what's to come. I don't want to lose this one. So, an update. I hope that you enjoyed having a look at some green leaves, big ones. And I would consider, yeah, cutting off the spikes is very difficult. And I have to put one down because I am running out of space. But it worked. It worked. So that was worth it. And I'll feel a lot better when I do it next time, knowing that I'm actually doing the right thing. So one more time to Harlequin. <laughs> With that, that leaf that reminds me of some kind of a whale fin. And uh, thank you everybody so very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of a breather, upbeat video. I certainly enjoyed making this one. And I hope to see you in the next video. I appreciate your company. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.